The video you see on screen was captured on the 30th of August, 2020, in the city of Hisinchu, south of Taipei. The gathering you see was at the International Kite Festival and shows a group of people preparing a massive kite. It all seemed pretty ordinary and also quite mesmerizing. However, that will turn to sheer horror in just a few seconds because of a shocking incident that took place. When the group let the kite go, it quickly flew up into the air. What they didn't know was that a toddler who was just three years old somehow ended up dangling from its tail. It's not clear how close she was to the kite on the ground or how she got caught in the first place. Everyone was shocked when they noticed this and quickly sprung into action, trying whatever they could to ensure the child's safety. According to various social media reports, she was airborne for 30 seconds before the kite was pulled low enough for audience members to grab her. After being rushed to the hospital, the parents say she only had minor injuries. This is CCTV footage that was recorded on the 17th of January, 2023, at a shipyard on the bank of the Mankalong River in Thailand. Close to 30 shipyard workers are on duty at this time, with several of them being on the vessel, called the Smoosh C C-22. The vessel in question is an oil tanker, which is an extremely important thing to note before viewing the footage. Take a look. The vessel suddenly exploded, all while the shipyard workers were still on board. This is downright horrifying, and according to the official sources, seven of these workers tragically passed away due to the explosion. All of them were from Myanmar, otherwise known as Burma. It was revealed later onwards that the workers were welding oil-carrying pipes, and it's unclear how something like this could have happened in the first place. The other workers who got injured in this thankfully recovered at a local hospital. The following video surfaced quite recently and was released by the authorities in Miami. It shows an argument that happened involving a Tesla. The incident occurred on the Maryland Avenue and two women inside of the car seemed to be having a violent altercation. This was picked up by a few people who were around and they made an effort to intervene, hoping to get them to calm down. Unfortunately, their efforts would go in vain. The driver of the Tesla accelerated abruptly, crashing into several vehicles that were parked on the street. Those who witnessed this freak accident quickly got the women out of the car, where they found out that they had no injuries. The authorities arrived at the scene and proceeded to detain those involved. 
Even though this cannot be classified as road rage, it still shows the dangers of not being calm while driving. This is a video that was captured near East 46th Street on the 5th Avenue in Manhattan on the 18th of June, 2024. It shows a 33-year-old man from Florida named Jean Olivier. Only a few moments prior to this video being recorded, he apparently visited the Consulate General of Haiti inside the building to complain about housing. Now this is quite bizarre, although it's nowhere near as bizarre as what takes place next. He apparently got extremely upset for unknown reasons and started throwing furniture off of the building. He also threw several plank-like objects down onto the busy street below, which a passing motorcyclist narrowly avoided as he went by. Olivier was charged with burglary, reckless endangerment, criminal mischief, and criminal trespass, according to the cops. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this video in the comments section. This footage was captured in April of 2023 by a Manatee gas station. He apparently is not involved in this road rage that's taking place and is just a bystander. He captured the moment 31-year-old Kendra Nance became extremely angry at a few people. Her anger resulted in the shocking event that unfolded. Hey, you almost just hit my cow, my kids in. The 31-year-old took her car and crashed straight into another one at the gas station. A man was also dragged along, though thankfully he was okay. The situation doesn't end there. She continued on and hit another car, flipping her own in the process. Both she and her passenger fled the scene on foot. Kendra Nance has since been charged with criminal damage to property, aggravated assault using a deadly weapon, and reckless conduct. Artificial intelligence is often regarded as lazy work, with quality not being up to the mark in various industries. That being said, if used properly, AI can be used to edit black and white videos from over 80 years ago. This is exactly what this person managed to do with a video of a kamikaze attack on a US ship during World War II. What the video shows is a Japanese kamikaze attack on an American Navy ship in the Pacific. For those who aren't aware, Japan used to send its pilots on a one-way mission, never to return with the end goal being this. The AI edited video is nothing short of terrifying, seeing the plane come down with anti-air cannons going off and the final explosion once it hits. Quite a few people fail to realize how scary this must have been because the videos are in black and white. Though now, the horrors are truly realized. 